Schools in the Poway Unified School District had to let kids out early today because they're having AC problems. Yeah, it gets uncomfortable in the classroom quickly. Our Alani Latang is live in Poway with what you need to know. Alani. Kathleen, Andrew, very uncomfortable, especially when those classrooms are full, which we heard they are. We were here when they were let out of school and the kids, they were fanning themselves. They said they were hot inside. Some even saying that it's cooler outside. That was earlier when it was a lot warmer than it is inside the classroom. So that again just tells you how uncomfortable that can be. But the school district is working to bring portable AC units and more fans to beat out what they call an outdated and unreliable HVAC system. What's it like inside, guys? No AC. It's hot and humid. Like, I'm melting. My skin is, like, melting off my skin. Like, it's hot. It's been inconsistent AC for Bernardo Heights Middle School and Rancho Bernardo High School since the beginning of the school year. Students Susanna Franco-Lopez and Audrey Ann Ventura are having to adjust. I like to wear makeup to school, and it's really hard to keep it on because it, like, melts off as soon as I get into camp class or campus. And I like to wear pants, so my legs are only sweaty. And, like, my feet burn every time I walk. It's horrible. In a letter to staff and families, the district wrote that their newly installed chiller cannot handle the load of providing AC for both the middle and high school. So the district said they are bringing in a second chiller. In the meantime, the district is working on getting portable AC units, more fans. Some of the AC units have or are broken. And the fans don't really do much. It's la it's hard for the teachers. I've had a teacher lose her voice. They are so sweaty when they come home, and they're so exhausted, and it's hard to focus. Bryn Dean has two kids at Bernardo Heights. One student and one is an instructional aide. She, along with dozens of other parents, are now having to pick up their kids early because of the heat. I've had workers that I have had to reschedule because they don't know when I'm picking up my kid or when to schedule that. I've I've had to reschedule doctor appointments. Sometimes picking up can be an inconvenient, especially when you don't know ahead of time when they get up early. We feel the heat too. We feel their frustration. Despite years of work, the district said the HVAC system for the two schools is beyond repair. They are now looking to replace the entire 32-year-old system, which will cost $10 million. We've been talking to architects about what that's going to look like, how long that's going to take. It is um, a project that we've already started exploring. Learning with no AC is taking its toll on some students. It's kind of hard, you know, with like headaches. Midland Elementary School, the third school to let out early today because of AC issues. Their AC has been fixed at Bernardo Heights out Middle School. Excuse me. They will be let out at 12 until Friday. The high school at 115 until Friday. There will be buses for both the middle school and high school students for that early release. Reporting live in Poway, I'm Alani Latang, Fox 5 News. All right, and this heat wave might cause a lot of schools to reevaluate uh, kind of their infrastructure. We'll see where this goes from here. Alani, thank you so much.